Okay, well, hi everyone. My name is Wanda Henderson. I'm the owner of Wanda's 17th at 1851 7th Street Northwest. How long have you been in Shaw? I've been in Shaw now for 18 years. Wow. Why did you choose to open your shop in Shaw? I chose to open my shop in Shaw because it was one of the commercial districts closest to where I grew up at in Detroit Park. And Howard is a, has a historical value on 7th Street and I was very, very excited to be here. And try to ask her personally. Yes. Go ahead. What did you love about being a part of this community? I love being a part of this community. For one, I grew up in this community. Um, for two, um, the community here, when I first came, embraced me so much. Um, the patronism that they've given me, um, just the open welcomeness, having a chance to give back to my community also, and giving, giving kids like yourself, college students, um, people just living in the community, seniors, being able to reach out to everyone and everyone reach back. So we have a community of love. And it's a very historical district. What, how have the changes affected your business? Well, the change has affected my business because um, we have a diversity here. We now have a diversity here in Shaw. We have an open community where we invited a lot of people to come to this community that we can meet, greet, and learn about different people in different areas of where they live and where, and where we are now. And people enjoy Shaw because it's beautiful. It has a beautiful history. It has wonderful children, a wonderful culture. So um, I've learned a lot and i met a lot and I really enjoy that. It includes us, it includes me, it includes you, it includes a vast variety of people and just with growing efforts just making this community the greatest, the greatest area shop in Washington, D.C. How many of customers are regulars? Wow, we have a lot of regular clients. We have hundreds of regular clients. We have hundreds of regular clients that come in, men and women and children. What do you miss about Shaw's past? Um, I enjoy the present. The past, um, I think that we recreated Shaw so much, that we've that we created so much. So I think the past has developed itself to be more better than what it was in the past and have a chance to grow me and be prosperous. What do you love about Shaw Fredrick? I love the children. I love the seniors. I love the Howard students. I love the diversity. I love the way it looks. I love the nightlife, um, the, the, the retail spaces, all the new development. I, I love that. It's something new that we didn't see in my lifetime, it wasn't as beautiful as it is today. So I really, really love the present. Excuse me for one second. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. You here to see? Good. Get all angles. Okay, you have a seat. He'll be right with you. Yeah, see, that's a good one. Yes. What is your inspiration on your shop? My inspiration for my shop is to be the best shop in Washington, D.C. The best salon ever having children like yourself come in and want to know about Miss Wanda's. So that's what I really envision in opening a franchise of Wanda's on 7th. Is there any more questions y'all would like to ask Miss Wanda? No. Mm -hmm. Is there anything Miss Wanda would like to add? Well, I want, I, one thing I want to say, I'm very, very impressed with you guys because you asked very important, intelligent questions because you're eight, nine, and 10 years old. And most people that's 18, 19, and 20 ask those questions like college students. So I'm very, very impressed. 
Thank you, Miss Wanda. Thank you, Miss Wanda. Oh, you're very welcome, sweetie. Thank you. And you're a wonderful interviewer. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You're welcome, this sweetie. This is not your Thank first you. time. Uh, they, they made me learn the first time from your school. <laughs> yes. Jemai, you have a client? Come on. Okay, okay. Oh, wait, are we gonna... I'm being interviewed. Or a, a I'm being interviewed by the kids. Is there anyone we can talk to? Sure. Jemai, right here. You can talk to Jemai. <laughs> okay, come on. We're going to go talk with Gary. Nice. All right, take these Gary. Good pictures. Yes, let her have a turn. The kids want to interview you. This is Mr. Gary. Mr. Gary has been with me for 23 years. Mr. Gary also is a, a native Washingtonian. He grew up in the Bloomingdale area of, of Northwest, just above Detroit Park. Anybody have a question for Mr. Gary? We get back to our community and our kids. <laughs> okay, give me, how much did she say what? Okay, baby. They come and interview me often. I gotta be ready when they come, because they, they throw some questions. You could be all point if you want to. <laughs> First time I went to interview with them, I thought I was going to interview with some summer kids, 16, 17. I saw they were four, five, and six, and they threw them questions at me. I was like, oh my goodness, wait a minute. <laughs> Did you want to tip on the car? Okay. Yeah, but that's good. You don't talk to children like they're babies. You talk to them like adults. They'll respond like adults. What's up? Go ahead, girl. Okay. Okay. I know y'all look alike. Okay. Oh. I always forget to call. You're more than welcome here this night. Mm-hmm. Look, gotta put the edges. Look, cause those edges are sharp. Woo! So yeah, she is. Yeah, really. They little pieces, aren't they? <laughs> What's your name, the client? <laughs> no. Say, how long have you been working here? How long have you been working here, Joe? Almost three years. What's your client's name? What do you like about What do you like about working here, Joe? <laughs> Joe? <laughs> they got the cameras. You like working at Shaw? Okay, good. Okay. All right. Let, okay. Next. Who's next? Okay, let's talk to Tim over here. Tim. Hi, Tim. <laughs> Can you have a minute to answer some questions? Um, how long have you been here? And what inspired you to come to work on this? Mr. Charles. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Mr. Charles. Do you have a minute for us to interview you? Sure. Let me take a picture. <laughs> what inspired you to come here? Work here. Well, I, I, I worked here years ago. And what really inspired me is the, the way this woman treat her, her workers. That one inspired me. This woman is a very special person. And the professionalism in the shop is what I've been looking for all the time, so that one inspires me to commit in another shop.
board members. That's my crew. You That's are my team team crew. crew. Did you come last time to make tea here with us? You know, you weren't here. You would do that. Who wants a little cookie by oh, wait, wait, tea? Wait, 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 what no, kind of nuts can you have? Like peanuts. Oh, it doesn't have any peanuts. Is it my Let's hear yeah. something. Thank you. Yes. Louder. Thank you. Thank you. You're there welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's like an oatmeal cookie. Yeah. Yeah. Oatmeal yeah. Yeah. Oatmeal yeah. It's oatmeal delicious. Cookies. It's delicious. Oh, so more bite them. My grandsons that? love it. It's just like that. a cookie. Yeah. It's like a little cookie bite. Grab it, Dad, and say thank you. Does it look like something you like? Then back away and say no thank you. Why don't you just try it? I'll share one with you. How's that? Okay. You can taste it. Taste yours. Taste it, and if you don't like it, she can have the rest. Okay? Let me get a wide shot. I'm so glad to see you guys again. I had so much fun making tea with you last year. What is the best tea I've ever tasted? My name's Donald. Uh, I run this store. I've been here for what, 22 years? On this corner, I run a Metro PCS and Central Communication. All right. The first question. Yep. How long have you been in the Shaw? I've been in the Shaw community since 1995. <laughs> That's 22 years. What did you choose? Why did you choose to open up your shopping shop? I, what happened, I looked at, I had a store back in the early 90s. I had a store on 14th Street, and I looked at this intersection as being a busy intersection near Howard University. So I decided to come here. <laughs> what do you love about being a part of this community? 
I keep forgetting the term. Well, I like this. I like this community. It's, it's it's changing a lot, but I definitely like this community. It's diverse. It's a uh, it's a college atmosphere. It's it's the area is actually changing. Bye. <laughs> I guess foot traffic wise it, it affected with people moving out but other than that we still have a consistent basis with the metro and other means of transportation people can still get to us so <laughs> that's a tough one there. That's a good. That's a good question. <laughs> that's a tough question. Uh, future in terms of short term, I think is is going to be consistent. Five years down the road, I, I I don't see it really. I don't. I'm I'm hoping things can change around. I think most of us are moving to the suburbs, so. I, I gotta answer that question later. That's a tough question, you know. That's a good question, though. How many, <laughs> how many of your customers are regulars? Uh, that's a good question as well. I think about sixty percent of my customers are regular customers. And what do they come here for? They come here for phone services, uh, phone repairs, airtime, monthly bills, and. We, we sell go-go CDs, all the local bands, so people come back as far as 20 years old and buy CDs here from, from us, so that's a good mix. What do you miss about Shaw's past? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> You're calling me now. <laughs> oh. The past is... These are tough questions. <laughs> you mean that if you look at all the neighbors in Debbie Street, you look at this neighborhood over here, they're all gone. If you look at down the street, which the neighborhoods, everything is in transition right now. So it was, I guess, more minorities in the, in the beginning, and it's kind of changing. Well, the, they were the majority. They were the majority, yeah. yeah. yeah I mean. there, were more, there was more of the majority. <laughs> yeah, I guess. That's why you're right. Yeah. Um, what do you love about? What do you love about Shaw? Steady camera. Um, what do you love about Shaw now? I still like the neighborhood. I just wish that we weren't the minority now, but I still think it's a booming area. We're still busy, as you can see. We're, right. <laughs> we're consistently, every year we've been busy, so we've been blessed. I had customers that are your age, and now they're 20 years old, and they still come back. So I have a lot of different customers over the years. How long have you been playing go-go out there? 22 years. 22 years. What did she use is old. Yeah. Um, why go-go? It's, it's our music. It's, it's the music of D.C. And people are getting away. Actually, a lot of clubs are not playing go-go no more. So I'm, I'm trying to keep the bands alive. So we still play them every day outside. Plan on going anywhere anytime soon, sir? I don't sir. hope so. I don't hope so. I hope I can be here till I retire. Yeah. <laughs> If I can get another 10 years out of it, at least.
Oh, that was only a couple sentences. Hello. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Before the parents come and get them. <laughs> Oliva. Oliva. Okay, can you watch my back? All right. Oh, okay. Watch her. I don't know. Kind of dangerous. Look at everybody shooting everybody else. All right. We're almost there.